In this video, I want to define the cosets of rings similarly to how I defined cosets of groups. Let's let A be a ring and J be some ideal of this ring A. For some element A in my ring, I'm going to define capital J plus A to be the set of little j plus A such that little j is in capital J. And we call this set J plus A a coset, so these are cosets under addition. So in defining cosets, I've actually said nothing about multiplication. As a reminder, all rings are also groups under addition, so the cosets of a ring are exactly the cosets under, of a group under additive notation. So everything we've said about cosets previously is still true. Let's do a quick review of some of these properties that we have stated and proved in previous videos. The first, A is an element in the coset J plus B if and only if J plus A is equal to J plus B. Another one, J plus A is equal to J plus B if and only if A minus B belongs to J. And these are all things I had proven before, although I use multiplicative notation. So this is what it looks like in additive notation. The next one, J plus A is equal to J if and only if A belongs to the set J. A reminder of how we defined adding two cosets, J plus A plus J plus B is equal to J plus A plus B. And since we're in a ring, we also need a way to multiply two cosets. And we do this by j plus a times j plus b is equal to j plus ab. With these definitions of adding two cosets, multiplying two cosets, we do need to make sure that they are well-defined operations. Let's start with addition and showing addition is well-defined. So let's let j be an ideal of a. If j plus a is equal to j plus c, and j plus b is equal to j plus d, then we need j plus a plus b to be equal to j plus c plus d. Since we know that j plus a is equal to j plus c, we know that a minus c belongs to j. Similarly, since j plus b is equal to j plus d, b minus d belongs to j. We do know that j is closed with respect to addition. So we know a minus c plus b minus d has to belong to j. And I can rewrite this as a plus b minus c plus d. So this has to belong to j since a minus c belongs to j and b minus d belongs to j. By one of the statements I had previously, this is true if and only if j plus a plus b is equal to j plus c plus d, which is exactly what we needed. So this is a well-defined definition for the addition of cosets. Now let's look at the operation of multiplication. So once again, j is an ideal of a. We know j plus a is equal to j plus c, and j plus b is equal to j plus d. So we need to show that j plus ab is equal to j plus cd. Since j absorbs products in a, we know that a minus c times b is in j, since we've already discussed how a minus c was in j. We also already discussed that b minus d was in j, so c times b minus d belongs to j. My distributive property then gives me ab minus cb has to belong to j and CB minus CD has to belong to J. Since AB minus CB and CB minus CD belong to J, we know that AB minus CB plus CB minus CD has to belong to J. And this can be simplified to AB minus CD. And since AB minus CD is in J, that tells me that J plus AB is equal to J plus CD. 
So this is a well-defined operation of multiplication.